Gary Wilson is an excellent example of how the free flow of information online can be used to raise awareness about important issues, help others, enact positive change, and champion truth. He didn't advocate for pornography to be legislated against, but he simply wanted people to make scientifically informed decisions regarding porn use. Gary is one of the strongest people I've ever known. And while those who knew him feel wholly devastated by his passing, we are also very grateful to have had him in our lives. Gary Wilson might be gone, but his legacy remains. And millions of people around the world will continue to benefit from his work in raising awareness about porn addiction for years to come. In the 10 years that I've known Gary and Marnia, um, I've come to, to love and respect both of them. And Gary's loss is simply irreplaceable for the movement. He uh, personally has been a friend to me, has been a great personal support. He is a fantastic educator uh, for the world on this issue. He's a leader in the movement who we all look to and is a warrior in the fight and uh, is not afraid to stand up for the truth. And most of all, Gary is a warm and compassionate and loving human being. And uh, Gary, we miss you and we love you. Gary saved my life when I was in my early 20s and I was broken, alone, and desperate for help. He pointed me in the right direction, the direction of truth. And that's what he did for millions of other people. He dedicated his life to helping other people and equipping them with empowering information and scientific truth. And that's what I think everyone at this conference can do to honor Gary is be courageous and passionate for the truth, just like Gary Wilson always was. Now, there's no other words I can say to properly describe the impact he had on my life and the movement. So I'll just say I love you, Gary, and you can never be replaced, but you'll never be forgotten. Gary gave people one thing that's even more important than love. He gave them truth. And without the truth, all the love in the world is not going to lead someone out of pornography and addiction. And he was attacked for it viciously. The last week of his life, Gary was on the phone with me, preoccupied not just with his pain, but with my daughter's seizures. He was worried, he even asked Alex, and told Alex about his concern. That's the kind of human being Gary was and is. I will always love you, Gary. I know I won't be alone in saying that Gary Wilson was an absolutely remarkable human being. Among his many talents, he had a truly encyclopedic knowledge of the research literature on the harms of pornography. It was unrivaled, really, in the field. But what really impressed me about Gary was his spirit of generosity and his selflessness with his time. He was always at the ready to help other advocates in this space and ready to answer questions, to share a study, to help explain something. And he built a website that really is a profound legacy for us all. We all owe Gary Wilson so much and I, we will greatly miss him. Daryl and I are proud to have been involved in helping to make Gary's seminal TEDx video, The Great Porn Experiment, happen. It has had over 14 million views to date. Gary expanded and updated it in a popular book, Your Brain on Porn, Internet Pornography and the Emerging Science of Addiction. It's still the best book on the subject to help anyone grab this internet porn monster by the tail. Gary also gave the movement powerful new tools to show the harms of pornography through his 2016 paper, Is Internet Pornography Causing Sexual Dysfunction? A review with clinical reports. Gary Wilson, I just want to say that I wouldn't be the man I am today and living the life that I have today, a life that I love, if it wasn't for you, for your teaching and your work, but more importantly, your mentorship and your friendship. So thank you. And I think about you every day. Gary Wilson was the greatest educator and protector for porn injured people in history. He was also my friend and a hero of mine. And I know I'm not alone in my admiration and respect for him. He was a man of strength, valor, and honor. 
I miss him, and I feel his spirit encouraging me and all of us still to carry our message that recovery is possible from porn-related problems. I will always be grateful for his and his wife Marnia's support for these many years. Thank you, Gary. Gary's hard-hitting research-based analysis was the porn industry's worst nightmare. This resulted in a relentless and withering barrage of personal attacks, which Gary courageously withstood. He was bold in his conviction, never straying from the facts. As Gary once remarked, the malicious censorship tactics of the porn industry and its sexology allies curb scientific and public debate. Just as Big Tobacco once did, they distract the public from the well-documented risk of porn's harms to both users and those it exploits. Despite the high personal toll that Gary's work exacted, a close friend explained that Gary continued to speak truth in a sea of lies. Thank you, Gary. The National Center on Sexual Exploitation is joined by the support of thousands of others who have been greatly lifted up by the life and service of Mr. Gary Wilson. As we honor him and his legacy with this year's Founders Award. Perhaps you are now or once were struggling with pornography addiction. Maybe you lost a relationship with someone you dearly love because of their desire for pornography, which was stronger than their desire for you. Or maybe you are a parent or caregiver worried about your child's exposure to pornography online. If so, you need to know that Gary Wilson, a brilliant-minded, highly ethical, tenacious, and valiant man, fought on your behalf. Though he passed away this year after a years-long battle with chronic illness, his life's work will continue to serve countless individuals and this movement for decades to come. It's hard for us to describe the immensity of the loss that Gary's passing means to his family, his many friends and allies, and to the movement to confront the public health harms of pornography that he pioneered. Gary's TEDx talk, website, and book provided the answers that so many men and women, unable to defeat their compulsive use of pornography, had long sought. With a compassion deeply seated in his encyclopedic knowledge of the social and neuroscience research on pornography's effect, Gary literally rescued countless numbers of individuals from pornography's grip of despair and despondency. He was motivated by kindness and asked for nothing in return. While his TEDx talk made him an internet sensation, Gary preferred to stay out of the limelight and help other people shine, which he selflessly did for our staff. He and his wife, Marnia Robinson, formed a dynamic duo, working tirelessly behind the scenes to help those seeking freedom from pornography addiction, as well as advocates around the world seeking the latest research. One of their monumental achievements was the cataloging and the synthesizing of research on internet's pornography's effects on their own website, yourbrainonporn.com. We add our voice to the thousands of others saying, thank you, Gary Wilson. The widespread use of internet porn is one of the fastest moving, most global experiments ever unconsciously conducted. Researchers don't know much about the effects of internet porn for several reasons. In 2009, when Lajeunesse tried to study porn's impact, he couldn't find any college-age males who weren't using it. Arousal addiction symptoms are easily mistaken for such things as ADHD, social anxiety, depression, concentration problems, performance anxiety, OCD, and a host of others. Guys never realized that they could overcome these symptoms simply by changing their behavior. Because it's hard to believe that sexual activity can cause addiction because sex is healthy. But internet porn is not sex. Internet porn is as different from real sex as today's video games are from checkers. And so everyday pleasures really don't 
satisfy a porn addict. At the same time, other physical changes in the brain make the brain hyperreactive to porn. Everything else in the porn user's life is sort of boring, but porn is super exciting. Now, before I continue, you probably want to know why any porn-loving guy in his right mind would give it up. <laughs> Two words, erectile dysfunction. Internet porn is killing young men's sexual performance. Now, Zimbardo said young guys are flaming out with women. This survey by Italian neurologist confirms what we have witnessed over the last few years. I'll conclude with a wish. I'd like to see some Bardo's guys who are wiping out and their caregivers and the experts listen to the thousands of men who are teaching us about arousal addiction by escaping it. Thanks for listening. <laughs>